Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again with another video on Assassin's Creed, the Ezio Collection. So, a new trailer just dropped overnight, a bunch of the guys have already done videos on it, so I'm not going to totally just address that, and it wasn't that big enough to do anything really on, like in terms of videos, so I thought since the Ezio Collection is releasing next week, it's about time I do a video on kind of my final thoughts leading in to the game's release, and how I'm excited about it, and what I'm going to expect from it, things like that. And I'll talk about this new trailer as well. So, I mean, I will say this to start, and I've said it before, it's that I wanted, when I thought of them remastering the Edge of Trilogy, I thought of this big vision of amazing stuff they could do. Did I expect them to do it? No. But there is a lot they could have done with it, more than they are doing, and I wish they had done that. But... The reality is, what they are doing still excites me. So, having from the first announcement, I kind of realised, okay, if it's this soon, and they're only announcing it like two months before, it's obviously not that huge of a game. It's not that huge of an improvement. So when the first trailer came out, I was actually surprised at how different Assassin's Creed 2 looked. And I'm very happy with how it's looking leading into this release. It looks like a full remaster. Whereas... Brotherhood Revelations look like a poured over with just a little a little shinier. They've cleaned it up a little, which is nice. Nothing bad about that. The reality is they're three great games, so I, there's nothing to be upset about with them being re-released on the current generation of consoles for people who don't have them. If you've already got them and you don't want to play them, obviously the community's quite split on whether they're excited about it or not. So, it's just the way it is, unfortunately. But I'm excited with playing Assassin's Creed 2, and with this new trailer, you've seen, if anything, it looks better than I saw or expected from that first trailer. We saw cutscenes, obviously there's lighting improvements, there's texture improvements, things like that. But seeing the comparisons of gameplay, like Leonardo's Flying Machine, seeing Venice, is a lot more... With adding the textures they have, with adding the lighting and colouring they have, it's added so much more depth to the look of the world and landscape. Now, obviously, in comparison to the newer games, the world's a bit bricky in terms of the way Venice is kind of built, and you see in this gameplay, I mean, it does look a bit bricky and a bit odd because the textures and lighting look so good, and it's almost like the uh, box look of the buildings doesn't really fit how good the lighting textures and everything are, but, it, I mean, it's okay because it's still a huge improvement, and it does look way better, so it's going to be really nice, I think. Going into the Ezio Collection. It's something that two months ago we didn't even expect to happen. So, it's this little kind of out of nowhere shock that here's the Ezio Collection, you're getting the Ezio Trilogy, it's, they're going to look a bit nicer, and Assassin's Creed 2 is going to be remastered. It's not the greatest remaster I ever imagined for it, but it is that all the same. And that's exciting. Assassin's Creed 2 is one of my favourite games of all time, so I'm keen for it. And this new trailer showed off some great stuff. Now, I'd like to think that when it comes to Brotherhood and Revelations, that I'll be able to tell the differences when I play the game. But as of these two trailers they've released, I can't see the difference yet. Though we haven't seen proper gameplay of Brotherhood or Revelations, we've just seen trailer trailers of cutscenes. So that doesn't tell us enough about how the game's going to look. Whereas Assassin's Creed 2, we've seen gameplay short clips. We really haven't seen a lot... They've kept a lot of it quite under wraps, but I am overall quite excited with how the game's looking, and just being able to jump into the Ezio games once again and give us a reason to play it again, make videos for you guys, in which, speaking of, I guess I can tell you the videos you should expect. I've mentioned some of them before. I'll do a walkthrough of Brotherhood, but I'm going to do lots of uh, little videos in Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood Revelations, Achievement Guards tips, things like that, just because I know the game so well it's worth doing. Things like shop quests and Brotherhood that people may not know. It gives me a chance as a YouTuber that wasn't around during the Ezio trilogy, I, I came in after Revelations came out when I started making videos. So, this gives me a chance to be a YouTuber during a time Ezio's a thing, which is special for me. It's, you know, I, I never went through that, but that's the time I fell in love with the franchise and I was just a fan watching YouTubers and watching Assassin's Creed grow. I wasn't a person involved in a community like I am now. So that's exciting for me. And I hope you guys will be around to join in all the fun and banter of walkthroughs, clips, videos that myself, James, Ethan, Nick, George, and all those awesome guys in the community are going to be doing. So I'm very excited. Let me know what you guys think of this new trailer of things you're going to be expecting with the game and your predictions. Are you excited for the game? Are you not? 
give me your kind of final verdict going into now the final week before the game's release. So guys, thank you again for watching. Look forward to more videos from me very, very soon. And I will see you later.